<clears throat> what up, YouTube? Y'all already know it's your boy back. One more again, the Latin assassin himself, Big Lou. Tapping back in, what it do, Big Lou, and it's y'all too, baby, baby. So, check it out. Uh, as you can see from the thumbnail, Israel has bombed uh, Rafa, right, in the, in the Gaza, uh, Gaza Strip area where the Palestinians live. Uh, <clears throat> this shit is getting out of, this shit is, I mean, it's been out of hand, right? It's been out of hand. Uh, in my opinion, there's, there's been way, way too many uh, innocent civilians killed over, you know, um, you know, I mean, I, there's, there, there ain't even no excuse. You know, I mean, damn, the excuse they're using was, oh, it was an accident, this and that. You know, I'm not saying on everything, but some of these things like the Western chick, uh, Western chicken, the Western kitchen band that was blown up because they thought there was a Palestinian on board, but he was a, uh, uh, he wasn't Hamas. He was a, uh, a volunteer, you know, a humanitarian volunteer worker. Um, they killed an American there. You know, they said that it was an accident, but yet the timeline shows when they crossed through the, 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 the check, the, you know, where the, the check, uh, checkpoints, excuse me, uh, the thing is, is that just yesterday, or it might have been late the day before that, uh, between Egypt, United States, Israel, and Hamas, and for some reason I want to say Qatar too, but I'm not really sure about that. But for sure it was Israel, Egypt, United States, and Hamas worked out a ceasefire, of like a 40-day long ceasefire. And for some reason... After it was agreed, then Israel backed out. Okay. Less than 24 hours. It's something like, you know, it's 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 not more than a full 48 hours later. Israel bombs the uh bombs and takes over the Philadelphia uh corridor, right? Uh to the point where they're like almost on the border with Egypt. Now, Egypt and Israel's had a, a, a peace treaty that's been in effect for over uh, for over 40 years, since 79. Let me give you a little background out of it. So the Philadelphia Corridor is 14 kilometers long, so 8.69 miles long strip of land guaranteed by the 1979 Israeli-Egyptian Peace Treaty. For the first time since 2005, Israeli forces moved into the eastern side of the Philadelphia Corridor on the border between the Gaza Strip and Egypt. Okay, so that is issues right there, right? That's going to be issues because now you're messing with Egypt's, the border of Egypt. That's with Gaza, the Gaza Strip, right? And any type of bombing on that border is going to, you know... uh go into Egypt and it's going to be even more, but definitely more, not only tensions, but mo most likely uh, uh, there's going to be a, a retaliation. Now, I don't I can't say the guy's name correctly, but there's Israeli cabinet members that want to just bomb, 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 get rid, like just, you know what I'm saying? He said that the, the prisons in Israel are uh, crowded and without due process, he wants to just start killing any Palestinian prisoners. Wow. You know, and I say, wow, because Israel is supposed to be a, a, a sovereign country, right? It's a, de a, de a, de a democratic republic where they vote, right? So where's the due process, the court system? How are you just going to kill people uh, regardless if they're guilt, you know, guilty or been charged with something? Uh, take them through the proper process and give them their proper punishment, whatever the laws are in that land, right? But to just want to just, uh, uh, you know, volunteer to let, let's just kill them. Right. I mean, what's the difference? I mean, and then that, this is another thing about all this. The inter ICC, the International Criminal Courts, well, the Hague, I guess where the Hague's at. Um, they were ready to put out arrest warrants for uh, Bibi Net Net Netanyahu. Right. Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of Israel and some of his cabinet members for war crimes. And now we got Republicans. A bunch of Republicans, Tim Scott, Rick Scott, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Mitch McConnell, uh, uh, Tom Cotton, um, Marsha Blackburn, uh, Katie Britt. Uh, those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. They they all 
wrote a letter and signed a letter like a, a class action class, class action letter, <laughs> not lawsuit, but letter pretty much threatening, making pretty much threats to the ICC, International Criminal Court. Now, IPAC, IPAC, I think it's called, or APEC. No, it's not APAC. It's IPAC. IPAC? I believe it's IPAC. That's, this is a, a, this is the, usually the biggest donor for most of the politicians on both sides, Republican and Democrat. Um, this is Joe Biden's biggest, uh, Joe Biden's got the most money from, from this group. Um, because he's been in politics for the longest. I mean, I, you know, he's got what, 36 years in the Senate. Then he's got eight years as vice, as Veep. And then now four years as president and possibly another four years. Right. So he has the most money that's been, uh, uh, donated to him. And a lot of people think that it's, 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 uh, you know, it's a form of corruption, not being personally corrupt, but as far as corruption, as far as, you know, you're getting the money. So therefore you look the other way, like with Israel bombing, you know, you say that, Hey, don't do it again, but then they do it again. You know what I'm saying? So I did read too, also today that, uh, they are half stepping and slow moving on shooting a lot of, uh, weaponry to Israel, which I heard Senator Bernie Sanders say the other day that, he does not agree with the Biden and the Biden administration on how they're handling that Israel and Gaza, which I don't either. A lot of people don't. That's why we got this protest going on in UCLA, Columbia, NYU, um, and wherever else, right? Uh, but like I tried to say before, a president is not going to do everything that you, you I mean, I, uh, everybody's not going to agree with the president. And I said before, and I meant, I meant this, Joe Biden's in a particular position. Right. Because he has a lot of support from Jewish Americans, um, you know, of all from all different countries. Remember, Jewish people is are all over. They're not just in Israel. Right. You got Jewish Jewish, the Jewish faith in Latin America countries. You got them in all, you know, Eastern European countries. They're, you know, you have Jewish people are everywhere. So Palestinians are just that little area that's like Las Vegas. Right. Now, they are. Um, I'm not sure if they're considered Arab Arabs, um, but they are Muslim. Muslim. Majority of them are Muslim. There are some Christian, but majority of them are Muslim. And the reason I don't say that because I'm not. I know Afghan Afghani's are Muslim, but they're not Arabs, right? Same thing with uh, Pakistani. Most of them are Muslims, but they're not Arabs. Uh, you know, so I'm not sure if they're Arabs, but I, I'm pretty sure they speak Arabic, or they might. You know, it could be. They might speak. Palestinian. I know they got different dialects. I think they have different dialects. The Sunni, the Shiite, maybe. I'm not. I could. I. I'm not uh, proclaiming to be a, a an expert on 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 the different. Um, you know, in the mid. You know, the east, the Middle Eastern countries. If you know, they all speak the same Arabic dialect, or there's different dialects. Uh, I know. You know, I'm pretty sure there are. Right? Because I heard somebody say the infadada, infadada. How do you say that word? And the lady was Palestinian, and she was saying it, it means it, 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 in diff, in Palestine it means this compared if it was you were talking about you know Saudi Arabian or or, or Iraq. Uh, anyways, Bernie uh, Senator Sanders said that he don't agree with the Biden administration on how they're handling Israel and Gaza, and that just because they passed the, a budget, you know, they passed something. To, for aid for Israel and aid for uh, Ukraine and aid for Taiwan and humanitarian aid. And, you know, in that bill doesn't mean that they have to release whatever, you know, ABCD to Israel just like that. Now, I hope that's what they're doing, because at this point, they don't need extra ammunition. They don't need extra, uh, you know, uh, rifles itself, you know, offensive uh, weapons. They need more. I would only send them defensive weapons, if anything. Right. Or nothing at all until they start complying because at the end of the day, that's a lot of money, right? And and at some point here, that's why I mentioned earlier too in, in the Supreme Court video that we need to get back to, there needs to be term limits. There's term limits for the president. Then there should, there should also be term limits for the Supreme Court nominees. And there should be term limits for the uh, Rep House of Representatives and the Senate, right? And also these lobbyists, these... these uh, PACs that, you know, donate all this money to uh, special interest, you know, these special interest groups and things like that, like IRA and Big Pharma and all that. They need, it needs to stop. 
and just go to grassroots only. And with grassroots only, you figure we have, what, 330 million people here? Just just calculate it. If everybody can give five dollars, right? And I'm not and that's not that's 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 asking a lot. Everybody five dollars, but there's gonna be some people that don't give nothing. And there's gonna be people that give thousands of dollars. So it'll it'll come out, right? It kinda it's kinda like that that, that analogy that I always use. If you have uh half a million people that go across that Golden Gate Bridge every day, right? Or we'll say two hundred fifty thousand every day across that Golden Gate, the the the, the Bay Bridge, excuse me, Oakland into San Francisco. And they charge two dollars to get through. That's a half a million bucks right there, a day. What are they doing with the money to fix the bridge, to fix the road? You know what I'm saying? Where is it going? Uh, and they don't charge two dollars. They charge more like seven dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know what? That's it's kind of kind of the same thing. If you guys catch my drift, you catch my drift. Know what I'm talking about? But this is the Israel Gaza thing, man. Uh, it's like 90% of the homes are people are misplaced and homeless. 70%, roughly 70% of their, uh, of the buildings are, are just to rubble. You know, you're talking about schools, you're talking about, uh, hospitals, you're talking about anything. 70% is, is rubble, right? It seems to me, I mean, it doesn't even like, I mean, yeah, Hamas, they probably, yeah, they probably can handle, handle, I mean, they, they look what they did on October 7th, but at the same time, Bibi Net, Netanyahu, he, he helped finance Hamas, you know what I'm saying? And then I hear, and I've heard a couple of times, but I heard it recently again, a little bit ago that there is, Israel was well and aware of what was going to, uh, that there was pl pl plans for 10, seven for October 7th, um, I just remember when that happened, I remember hearing the people, that, that old, older white guy, I don't know if he was Jewish, I'm not sure, but he was like, Mr. Blinken, Mr. Blinken, Secretary Blinken, he kept saying, and then he goes, President uh, President Trump, or uh, President Biden, President Biden, like they were trying to get people's attention, and people were screaming in the background, and I, I wasn't really sure what was going on at the time, you know what I'm saying? But then later I found out, and then a little bit, and then I've been catching up more on it as the day's been going, but, uh, how do you do that? How do you kill 24,000 women and children, 13,000 kids? I mean, this ain't like, this ain't like, uh, Afghanistan and Iraq where, you know, women are walking as a, as a, as a kamikaze bomber and, and, and kids are, you know, walking by with, with the robe on and then they bust out an AK 47 and start shooting everybody. Um, I mean, I, yeah, that's possible, but I think, it's, it's, it's a lot different scenario over there in Gaza you know, these people are starving over there and, 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 you know, they're, they're, these the Israelis already put up their flag over there, uh, in the Gaza, in the Gaza strip area, the border, the border of, uh, Egypt. And they knocked some, uh, some Palestinian flags over. They put their own flag up. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, uh, it's, I mean, in my opinion, it's, 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 it's getting real jiggy over there. Right. But at the same time, Israel seems to be breaking treaties. It seems like they're, uh, not that seems like, I mean, it seems when I mean, when I say it seems like what I'm talking about is like possibly criminal acts, right? You bombed Syria, <clears throat> you bombed, uh, what was the one that they bombed? Uh, it was a, a embassy in another. It was a a country's embassy that's in another country. Um, I think it was Egypt. Was it Egypt's? Uh, e uh, uh, I think it was Syria's uh, embassy in Egypt. I believe it was right, or it was Egypt's in Syria. I forgot, uh, and I could be wrong in the countries too. But it's uh, it's you know nonstop with this. A BB is out of control. Um, and you know, this is not his first go around as prime minister. I think this is his third time. I mean, and what I mean by third time is getting voted in, getting voted out years later, getting voted in again, getting voted out. You know what I'm saying? I think I could be wrong. I think he got voted in again in the 2022, but how long was he out if that was the case? Cause he was in there when Trump was president, right? Cause Trump, you know, they had that big, uh, Baran, Bahrain, or however you pronounce it in Israel, which is, 
which was record, you know, record uh, uh, was something really big because Bahrain, Bahrain, or however you pronounce the name, they're Muslim, but it's not like Gaza, you know what I'm saying? It's not like Palestinian uh, uh, treaty, you know what I'm saying? And remember too, back when uh, Bill Clinton was trying to do this, uh, the two-state thing, and, and they came, the leaders of, of the Palestinian side in, in Israel uh, came to the White House with Bill, uh, President Clinton, and when he left, the one dude, Ar Ar Arafat, I think his name was, he wanted to carry his pistol. And they were like, no, you can't do that, right? Or whatever. And then uh, what he did, when, when, when they went back, Netanyahu was talking a bunch of shit while he was campaigning about the, the current prime minister. And then he ends up getting assassinated, right? So so Bibi Netanyahu, he's been, he's been a, uh, you know, what, what they would call a bad dude, right? You know, uh, a warmonger, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and apparently um, the older he gets and the later we get in these years, he's becoming more and more right-wing extremist, uh, you know, to the point where they want to just, and look what Trump told him. He told him, he, he they haven't spoken a while, but he said out loud, I mean, he said, uh, uh, on a, on, a, on a call or something they had him on one of the channels. He said that they just need to finish it. Meaning wipe out the whole Gaza. And, um, that would be, that would be jacked up. Right. Cause I, uh, yeah, it would be jacked up and I can't stop thinking that it's a, you know, it's a form of a uh, genocide, man. You know, some would say it's straight genocide. You know, others would say, uh, different, but, you can't accidentally kill 24,000 women and children. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no excuse for that. There's no reason that should have happened. Uh, it just don't make no sense. You know, these you're talking about an intelligent. These guys got national security intelligence up to par to like not necessarily up to the United States' level, but really good. Um, intelligence, right? Uh, they got a good system over there. So, uh, you know, a lot of this shit is terrible. It's going down. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't take one side or another because it's, I see BS on both sides as far as not. And I don't mean in, in over there, I'm talking about over here, what's said and stuff like that. Um, in my opinion, anti-Semitic stuff. Yeah, that is terrible. It shouldn't be said, but you know what? Free speech is free speech. As long as you're not bringing uh, violence to the person, whoever you're speaking of in, in an anti-Semitic way, as long, as long as you're not trying to incite some type of violence on them uh, or you're trying to hurt them somehow, well, that's still violence. But, you know, I don't think Congress should be trying to pass that uh, because how are you going to do it for that? But then for ju for ju uh, anti-Semitic uh rhetoric right and a lot of it has to do with just uh criticizing the government of israel they're saying that's illegal that'll, that'll be illegal you know how are you gonna do that how can you how do you not say okay well if you say anything bad about christians or uh, catholics or or and buddhism and any any other national re, uh religion it, it you know what i'm saying uh, everybody would say oh you're out of your mind that that ain't gonna fly but but it flies when it comes to jewish people are the Jewish religion, you know, Jew, Jewish people, Jewish, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little stuck on is Jewish, uh, religion being Jewish or is that a, a nationality? Uh, because Jewish people come from everywhere, right? Hungary, uh, you know, Argentina, uh, Russia, Germany, Poland, you know what I mean? All over the place. Uh, Fr French had Jews, Jewish people, right? So, because I was always in the impression that it's a religion. It's not a nationality. But then I've had people tell me otherwise. So anybody out there that's listening, if, you, if you're Jewish, uh, let me know. And if you're not Jewish, you're very versed on the, on the Jewish uh, plight. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me know in the comments, but I'm 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 looking forward to hearing some res some replies in the in the comment section on this video. Um, 
So with that being said, Big Lou, tapping out.